Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. This will be the start of a new campaign. Um, I'm putting the uh, Pax, Romana, Pax Romana campaign to bed. Um, returning to old versions in order to uh, play it uh, is a lot of hassle, and kind of hit a, a, a plateau uh, where we were basically just steamrolling everything. So, um, I think it's about time to start something new, and... Um, to an extent, it's going to be returning to an old stomping ground of mine, a favorite stomping ground of mine. Uh, we're going to choose our starting era. Well, we can choose a starting era with this new screen, um, early Middle Ages, and you can choose uh, um, has a list of uh, interesting characters. But we're going to go with a custom game setup. Um, here are the independent realms. Um, I really have a hankering for playing a Merchant Republic. Um, I've played a couple off-screen um, a bit, and um, I find them pretty interesting. Um, and I uh, really want to get going on another one. Um, but Venice is in a very, very tough position. Um, at some point, the Byzantine Empire might decide that they want it back within the fold, and... and there's not much they can do about it, and uh, the only real expansion for Venice is versus Lombardy or um, the Byzantine Empire. I mean, you've also got Rashka and Croatia, but they're not very good uh, counties, and they're not right around uh, the capital. Um, Amalfi is a great place to start, uh, but uh, J Squared is already doing a uh, Let's Play there, so I don't want to do, you know, like, more of the same kind of thing, even though it really wouldn't be. Um, but, uh, so I decided, um, why not go back to our old stomping ground here in the British Isles? But there are no, uh, merchant republics up there, you say? Ah, but there are tribals. Basically, all of, uh, the land from, uh, north of this line is tribal. And we can start as one of those and become a merchant republic. Uh, there are a couple problems. Um, I mean, we could start as uh, an Irish uh, count and uh, become a merchant republic. Um, and that wouldn't be too bad. I mean, starting down here and gobbling our way up north uh, through Ireland would probably not be very difficult. Um, but Pictland really presents a problem. Pictland is uh, far too strong for this point of the game. Um, Historically, they got conquered by, um, well, I don't know if it was conquered per se, but um, the Irish here in Dal Riata, uh took over kingship, essentially. I, I'm not familiar enough with the history precisely to, to know whether it was a conquer or like a marriage type thing. And that's what led to um, uh, the Scots being a Gaelic language. Um but in this starting point, Pictlin is this enormous power, and uh, they're surrounded by little tribals, and they gobble up everything. And they definitely have the power to take a lot of land from Northumbria. Um, all no Northumbria can really do is if, if they can get some allies to come up and help them. Um, but that presents a problem uh, for starting up here. Um, I really think that Pictlin should essentially be the de jure duchy of, um, I don't know, whichever one this one is, and, uh, this one, can't remember the names offhand, um, and I think that way it would be, there, there would be two duke-level kingdoms, and that would basically prevent anyone, uh, they would, it would basically prevent them from steamrolling everything and give other little country, uh, counties a chance, um, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna take that that risk, and uh, we're gonna start in Inismano, um, the Isle of Man. Uh, we're not gonna play as uh, um, King Eladir. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do ruler designer. In this version of the game, um, Man is um, excuse me not a titular title. It is not part of the Western Isles. So, and this is kind of my problem in this starting point, because Pictlin is the kingdom, they do have a de jure claim on, uh, the Isle of Man, uh, and they will eventually press it, um, 
but uh, no one else does. So we got we have a little bit of protection. Um, unfortunately, we also are faced with Northumbria right here, uh, who could decide to try and do something about us. But uh, we'll see if we can make it work. Uh, we do have Ireland pretty close by, so uh, we can we can take some of that land. Um, let's go into Ruler Designer. Let's uh, see if I can roll up a, a good uh, Welsh Ald face. Let's see. I like that one. Let's uh, let's see about the hair color. All right, I am not seeing. I'm having a hard time telling the red. I think that's it's kind of red. Is that that's red? There we go. What about that? Yeah, I'll go with that. All right. Uh, let's see. What about hairstyle? Are we good with that one? Yeah, we'll go. We'll go with that. Um, all right, coat of arms, of course. Um, let's go with plane. Find our dragon. Maybe the dragon was further back. There's our dragon. All right, let's get the appropriate color. Where was the uh, the color? There it is. All right. We'll go with a solid dark green background rather than uh, splitting it. All right, let's go with uh, all. Oops, alt. And dragon. Okay. Um, we're starting out as Catholics, so we don't need to reform a pagan faith in order to um, become anything else, uh, which is pretty handy uh, in, in order to become feudal or um, a, uh, a merchant republic. That's the whole point of my campaign, and I can't even think of what it is. All right. Uh, let's go with uh, some traits. Um... Legitimized Bastard, Kinslayer, um, Genius, Strong, and they have a new, a lot of new um, kind of lifestyle traits um, that you get through uh, the Way of Life DLC. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Um, we're only going to get uh, five out of Lunatic. I'm kind of disappointed by that. Not sure if I want to do that just yet. Let's see what else. Um, I might just le you know, avoid other traits in general. Uh, I don't really need too many of them. Do we want Organizer? Um, is there anything that's going to give us a boost to River Crossings? Siege Leaders are good. I don't think there's anything that's going to give us a boost to um, river crossings. So I might just want to go with... Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't see anything. Hmm. Siege Leader might not be too bad either, since uh, I'll probably be doing a bit of that. But, uh, nah, we'll, we'll go with uh, our old standby of Organizer. Um, I might avoid uh, general traits. Because um, they, they really uh, made... Only the, the truly bad ones now are actually reduce your, your age. Like, uh, uh, Envious because it gives a plus two Intrigue. That's plus one age. Roth, because you get plus three martial. That's uh, plus one age. So, probably not going to choose too many of these. Definitely don't want Craven at this point. Um, I could go with Shy. That would be a couple. But uh, let's go ahead and 
grab lunatic, depressed, stressed, wounded. That brings us down to 41. Uh, possessed, unfortunately, gives us uh, zero. I guess because it has a... Oh, I get personal combat skill plus one. Um, and I'm kind of guessing that possessed uh, is zero because it has the potential of giving you all the good traits or all the bad traits. Um, let's see. Unfortunately, hedonist is uh, now... Uh, ah, because it gives intrigue plus one, diplomacy plus two. Hmm. Forgot about that. Alright, let's see. What else? We need to get our age down a bit more. We'll go with Deceitful. Go with Shy. Uh, could go with Arbitrary. That brings our age down a bit. Trusting and Cruel. That would be 16. Okay. Can we get anything? Nope. We are right at the limit. All right, well, uh, this could be a bad choice of uh, traits, but we'll see. Uh, Lunatic will definitely be incredibly fun. Um, we'll see how this goes. Uh, let's go ahead and finish and uh, start. All right, let's go. Okay, so here we are in... Uh, in the Isle of Man. Uh, we are a tribal. Uh, we've got an Earth Hill Fort, a Market Village, and Training Grounds. Uh, and Training Grounds, War Camp, Practice Range, and Weaponsmith, they all take prestige to improve. Uh, whereas Market Village and Earth Fort take money. And Shipbuilder as well, once we get uh, our tech up to that point, uh, which we do not. Uh, we're getting a current base tax of 2, which is pretty crappy, because if you look down here... Actually, let's, uh, let's look for one of the... Yeah, so this one is not... Uh, actually, that's 2 point... Oh, looted, looted province. How does that start out looted? Wow. Well, the, ba the base tax is 6 there, so... We are not going to be making much money here at all. But uh, all of these are tribals as well. Um, our early goal is probably going to be trying to get this county, maybe this county, and if we can face off against uh, um, Northumbria, these two as well. That would be a good starting position for us, and that should give us enough strength to stave off uh, threats from... Um, Pictland for too long. Uh, I will probably also try making alliances with uh, some of the Welsh down here. If I can. Uh, let's go ahead and pick an ambition. Get married. I do indeed desire to get married. Um, are there any geniuses available? There are not. What about strong? There are not. That is disappointing. What if we actually do a uh, search all? And no gender women. Okay, there are a few. Bedouin, 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 Levantine. Okay, um, will you come to my court? All right, that would cost me 200, though. But I would get... Let's let's do it. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, but we do... We actually do have the opportunity to take concubines. So, let's go ahead and uh, do just that by... Uh, generating some uh, random debutantes. Uh, we have some uh, new options. Raise tribal army. I can summon an army of true and steadfast Welsh warriors to fight in the war. They will surely come, as my prestige and influence in these lands are great. But once peace, uh, peace, peace ensues, they will return to their homes. 
They fight mainly for honor, but I will need to pay for their food and other provisions. I can found a merchant republic, uh, adopt feudalism, found a new kingdom, which is de which is something that we'll definitely be doing. Uh, found the Holy Roman Empire, but I'm not going to do that. Um, oh, you know what? <laughs> we need to uh, right away borrow money from the Jews, and you know what? Let's just go ahead and expel them. We'll take some more money. I'll get diplomacy minus two, though. <laughs> It'll take it down to zero. That's... That's fantastic. Um, maybe I won't do that just yet. Yeah, it might not be the best thing to do just yet. Alright. Uh, it would get me 200 more gold, but I don't really need it just yet. So, uh, let's see. Sent debutante. Uh, let's get some more. Alright. Take concubine. No geniuses. No strong. Alright. Back to it we go. Oh, and, uh, Elidir Manow is, uh, now, uh, in our, uh, court. Uh, he does have a, uh, a kid. Who we should probably educate. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and educate him. Um, we do want to educate him, if we can, with something good. I might just want to turn him into a, a warrior, actually. Let's do that. All right, I'll educate him myself. All right, let's see. Take concubine. Uh, I am not seeing any good traits popping up. Hmm. This is one of the downsides of uh, doing this. It can be expensive and time-consuming. Or dipped into my uh, Jewish loan. All right, let's see. Take concubine. I mean, the good news is that we have lots of potential uh, uh, people to do educating, to do education with. Assuming that we can actually get a lot of kids. And of course, having a lot of kids is going to be um, an issue on its own. I am not getting any good traits. I've got some, uh... Part of the problem, though, is I've got short reign penalties and other negatives. So some of these characters are going to not like me very much. Oh, and she's a master schemer. But she is lustful and Midas touched. Let's go ahead and take her as a concubine. I believe we can... Yeah, we can still take other concubines, so... Alright, let's just get down to 250. That'll be about the limit. If we didn't get any geniuses or strong women in that group, then, well... I'm just gonna have to... Oh, yeah, 250. Just have to deal with it. We'll have to live with it. Okay. Uh, take concubine. Oh, and they did change this menu around. All right, uh, let's see, no geniuses, no strong, damn it, all right, well, all right, let's uh, look for lustful, all right, um, She's good. And take concubine. Lustful. Uh, 
let's see, any other good choices? Well, I guess we can uh, take her as well. Ah, there we go. So now we'll produce lots and lots of kids, which can be a bad thing, because uh, we are definitely going to uh, um, have problems with inheritance, since we are uh, Agnatic Gavelkind. Um, we could change to Elective Gavelkind, not the best option, but... Uh, you know, we have no vassals, so let's just go ahead and up our tribal organization. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, appoint a chancellor. Re okay, that's... Hmm. Marshall. We got a 14. It's not too bad. So we can organize a raid or train troops. I think training troops is going to be better. Uh, steward. Yeah, it's just uh, organizing a raid, and then they'd uh, I'd have to use them in a raid uh, before the uh, they decide to leave, and that's kind of annoying. All right, steward. Um, well, <laughs> you're. I guess you're going to be my steward. All right, we can settle tribe, which um, basically means that we could uh, um, we can try changing the culture to Welsh. It's pretty nice, um, but I think we'll go with uh, build legend. We have a small chance of getting uh, raising warriors. Uh, we've got uh, spy master, and you are going to be the spy master. I am going to study technology. Down here in Constantinople. And court chaplain. Don't really have a great court chaplain. But, uh... Ah, uh, it also gives me monthly prestige, which is pretty nice. Uh, let's go ahead and build zeal for the uh, piety. And chancellor... Do not have many good options. Um, let's go ahead and fabricate a claim uh, up here, I think. Alright, we can pick a character focus. So we can go with uh, family for plus two diplomacy and uh, plus 25% fertility and plus one health. Uh, we could go with seduction for fertility plus 25% as well and intrigue plus two, uh, which is not too bad. Or we could go for hunting or war. Uh, I think I might want to go for hunting and try and uh, um, clear up some of my traits. I think that will help. Uh, so let's do that for uh, a few years. Um, let's see. How else are we doing? Well, I think that's going to be about it. I think we're about ready to, to get going. Let me go ahead and take a, a quick save. I'll have to uh, create a new folder for this. Alright, let's get to it. Boost up speed a bit. And we have uh, we have our new wife. I can gain one gold, or I can gain 100 prestige. Let's do that, reduce that uh, prestige penalty. We are getting 2.25 per month, so that's pretty awesome. Um, and we have a genius wife. I fulfilled the ambition to, be, to get married. Let's go ahead and uh, have a son. There we go. So... She's Frankish, unfortunately, but, you know, what are you going to do? Are there any other kids in court? Nope, there are not. Now, what I could do is start looking for people who are... Wow! <laughs> Pope Stephen died awfully fast. Hello, Pope Anastasius III. Uh, let's go ahead and men... 
married any. Let's go ahead and pause it for a second. All right, I want to look for someone who has a. Okay, ruler, no. Um, let's go with my. Well, we'll go with my religion. That should do it. Or my religion group. Okay. Look for someone that we can invite to court. Nope. Invite to court. Nope. Alright, let's go with uh, my culture group. Let's see how we uh, fare here. Alright. Did I already ask you? Alright, no one's really going to like me. What about you? You've got a, got a claim. Ah, uh, you're heir to a chieftain. Alright, I don't think anyone is going to like us enough. So, we're going to have to stick with our current uh, people for now, I think. Maybe as we uh, improve. Alright, you want to marry her. She is pretty good. You know what? Let's uh, arrange marriage. Who do we have in my court right now? You know what, Menno? There you go. <laughs> I should actually uh, do that. Arrange marriage. The other men in my court. Um, find characters. Search realm. Gender men. Married. No. Any. Any. There we go. Okay. Um, you definitely need a good wife. Arrange marriage. There you go. Uh, you... There we go. There we go. Whatever. That's fine. Arrange marriage. Uh, we've got a lustful there. There we go. You... You know, let's actually uh, search for Lustful. Alright, uh, you. There we go. And finally, you. Her. There we go. Okay, so we've married off our uh, our court members, and uh, let's see if we can uh, get going on, get going. That's fine, don't care about that. Increase the speed a bit, since we're just kind of waiting. You want someone else? Um, no. It's not going to get me any... Uh, <laughs> this is this is one of the downsides of, uh, of doing this. Um... An elusive shadow. Now, I'll wait until you uh, ask to marry someone who is not a uh, one of the uh, the top ranking. Hey, my concubine Tegla is pregnant. Okay, I gained five prestige. That helps. Nope. Even though she's not all that good. Dude, you have so many women. Share, please. Okay. Um, you're just an amateurish plotter. Your stats aren't too bad, but uh, we can accept this. That's fine. You can get out of my court. That's fine. So we've got a vassal limit of 12 right now, and a domain size of 5. Not too bad. Um, let's see, military... You can have 600 uh, troops. 
How many can you raise? 400. Um, but how many... Okay, hmm. I had to break up a fight between my ward, Guriad, and another child today. Guriad's heart is filled with envy. Talk to him about kindness. Gain the kind trait? Yes. Okay. And he's content already. Oh, that's good. He started out content. Alright, how, uh, how many troops can you raise? 1,000. That's... Not good. The White Stag. Lately you have heard persistent rumor from peasants and travelers in the wilds that a strange mythical beast has been sighted in your realm. It's a White Stag, powerful and elusive. The common folk claim it comes from another world, and that the hunter who claims it will be imbued with divine power. I must send people out to find it! Yes, find me the White Stag! I love these events. I have a kid who's a genius. Yes. Ah, victory. Ah, you are you are going to do do well. Okay. A son was born to King Ald of Manau and Tegla Penfro named Grigor. Excellent. I fulfilled the ambition to have a son. Let's choose a new ambition. Let us have a daughter. Oh, what are we doing? Plus 0.22. And we've got another uh, mano. I'm definitely going to give this guy um, uh, some land uh, when I get it. Um, maybe over here in Ireland. Ah, oh, My concubine. Wait. Is this not my concubine? No, this is my concubine. Well... Commit suicide. <laughs> no. Gotta make sure I don't misclick that. That would be bad. Alright. Lustful. Oh, I've got a... Pregnant one already. <laughs> um, Someone's been cheating. Alright, let's look for... You're gonna get a plus five fertility. Doesn't look like we have anyone else uh, with a bonus, so... Welcome to my harem. Let's see, a daughter was born to... Uh... Is that the woman who was pregnant? I am not sure. Doesn't matter. Um, I could go on a raid. Um... Possible loot, 5.6. It's really not that much. The good loot is down here. That's where I'd need to go raid. But, uh, that's kind of... iffy. Oh, hey! <laughs> They're, uh... They're rebelling already. Good news, my lord. We have received credible reports of a recent sighting of the Great White Stag in the province of Inismanau. Settle my horse! And Math is no longer court chaplain. He died. Aw, man. Died after a period of illness. Alright, I've got an open council position, so... You. That's not that good. I need to find... I need to get some more. You know what? I've got 44 piety. Well, I just made him... I'll wait. I'll see if he quits or something like that. That's 43% in favor of the king. That's pretty good. I'm starting to think Maleris might fancy me. I will make a move. You've gathered your followers and your hunting dogs. You've saddled your horse and prepared your weapons. You are ready to set out to hunt the great white stag. An epic hunt it shall be. Ah, it's good to be the king. I gave her a good tumble. The old wound has finally healed, leaving a pretty grotesque scar behind. Excellent! That's one down. Hey, my concubine Sonant is pregnant. Fantastic. I gained five prestige. It's a good way of uh, gaining prestige, that's for sure. After a pleasant evening with a very special friend of mine, I found my purse empty. 
Luckily, I didn't carry that much gold with me. I will not visit that brothel again. Lose one gold. Oh, darn. You spend weeks in the wilderness searching for any trace of your prey, but to no avail. You find plenty of bugs, snakes, and riding sores, however. So I have a 20% chance of getting depressed, but I already have that, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I gain plus one marshal for the white stag eludes me. And, uh, 20% chance of gaining wrath. I did not gain wrath, okay. I won't give up. You've returned to your court. The hunt for the elusive white beast seems fruitless, but there are many more things out there in the wilds. Maybe next time you will catch your prey. I won't give up. And, um, I think this is probably about a good time to uh, end the video. Our first video in our new campaign, back here in my favorite lands, the British Isles, as the Welsh once again, and we will create a powerful merchant republic that will rule the North Sea, and the Middle Sea, and maybe, if we're lucky, the South Sea. Ha 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 ha! See you next time, everyone.